Hello and welcome to Advertisers Watching Ads. My name is Tom Ollerton. I'm the founder of Automated Creative and this is a weekly show where brands watch other brands' ads and discuss what's good and bad about them. So without further ado, let's meet this week's guests. I'm Virginia Barnes. I'm the Director of Brand and Loyalty at Nuffield Health. Hello, I'm Adrian O'Brien. I work in the global brand team for Dove at Unilever. Hello, I am Richard Norton, co-founder of Tiny Giant. Hello, I'm Mary Kim Dawson and I'm group CEO of Takumi. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. We are going to be critiquing a recent ad by the Financial Times. This is, uh, yeah, this is. This, um, um, yeah. Um, uh, 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 the, um, the, well, and, 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 uh, we, uh, we ever, uh, that we could, uh, we, I, I, I cannot, uh, um, I, All right, Virginia, what did you first think when you saw that ad? My first impression was this is a neat little execution. I understand what they're doing. I like the heartbeats and the TikTok and then the resolution at the end. And I mean, it definitely made me squirm. <laughs> it definitely made me squirm. And at first viewing, I thought, you know, I understand what they're trying to do. I think I then had some more questions about whether I really bought the sort of the thinking behind it. Just as a viewer, I think it was a, a simple get it, understood what it was trying to tell me and what, how it was trying to position the FT. Notes? Yeah, well, to be honest, Tom, first time I watched it was today, in fact. It was pitch perfect in a way for what the FT, if you say, if you take it as a one, a one view hit, it has that incredible squirmability about it. And I will agree with Virginia Way, the little sound resolution of going from clock to stopwatch to speeding heartbeat to slightly slower heartbeat at the end when the FT logo comes out is a really nice little touch. And that's the sort of thing that makes me smile. And how about you, Adrian? I think the first time I watched it, I was I was left, I, you know, I'd gone to, through a minute of an ad and I was still waiting for a bit more. I was left a little bit sort of, and what next? I, I, I didn't quite get the resolution that I wanted, I don't think. In terms of creative, it's, it's you know, it's fantastic. It's a great piece of edit, um, edit work. Um, I have to be honest with you, I was really uh, disappointed. I think uh, they missed a really great opportunity. They were showcasing essentially very establishment figures. And I think in the times in which we're living, those people have lost credibility. Where were the people that we admire? You know, these aren't, I don't think these are the people that people admire any longer. You know, where were the Greta Thunbergs? You know, people who actually are making difference and making things happen. If they're lost for words, then I think that's a far more imp impactful um, impression. I was not inspired in the way that clearly my colleagues, my peers... Do you, were, not, think, do you not think, Mary, that the part of the thinking there was that they sort of deliberately chose all those kind of figurehead people, which I totally agree, people will deride or very cynical about the fact that they're made to look awkward is part of the kind of the the fun of it as opposed to people who who we duly believe are doing great things to be lost because you don't really want to, you don't want them to be on the sort of adversity you want it to see you want to see those people who is at the top no, no, I, I think that's just a view i take your point i do take your point maybe that's just you know i'm just too dumb for this stuff i mean i wanted to i i think it was more about you know how the ft is going to guide you through these troubled times right if you're lost word, the strap line you know is about the ft being authoritative and being able to help guide you and you're going to find you know presumably the inspiration and so on from the ft i don't know for me it just it just seemed contextually and like the old world rather than the new world, I suppose. Well, that, I, that's the point, though, isn't it? The FT is the establishment. 
it can't be thinking about the brand this is coming from the ft is this the establishment voice i mean i think it would be untrue to the brand to find, we're going to find the way forward with the same old uh problems the same people who have created half the problems that we've got right now i mean seriously but, no, you've got to talk <laughs> you've got to talk from your brand truth and they're not yeah. they're not it's radical organized they are the ft they are like I a Yes, I mean, I think that's, then, that's not that's not then that, that's a criticism of the the brand than the advertising yeah. strategy, you know, you which is an entire. But I mean, if I was the brand, if I was head of brand at uh, FT, and I was, I mean, if you're putting on, if you you're, you're putting on, um, you know, on show the establishment and lost for words and people who you know don't really know what to say in the circumstances. I mean, what I was, these are the representation, and they are the representation of the establishment which you are part of, okay? And yeah, I, I, of, I mean, sorry, just, just, uh, just what, I'll shut up in a second. I think the point is that isn't this a time for a radical rethink of how we approach the problems that face the world? And are the answers with these people? But okay, so I, I also, so as I said, my first viewing, I was like, this is a nice execution. But as my second execution, my second viewing of it, I started to, it started to disintegrate for me because I don't really agree with the strategy for similar reasons as you're articulating in the sense that these, these, these people are the FT readers, to be honest with you. If these people are lost for words, how is the, the FT going to resolve my issue? The really interesting thing, the interesting thing for me, and I think, Virginia, you said the word which was squirm, right? I can't think of another ad campaign that used that emotion as its central hook. And I think for me, that is its genius, is that it, it goes somewhere that I can't think another brand has been in, in certainly on this show and in, in, in recent history. But what, what would have made this better? I think if the FT had come to this with uh, the messaging more of the FT can help you be more informed so you can steer us out of crisis. I think that would felt much more kind of natural messaging rather than kind of, uh, just point, pointing and kind of poking fun at leaders who are struggling. The thing I'd want to fix is that what is what should the tone be? Because, as you know, talking about the word squirm, I think what actually we were supposed to feel is empathy for these people. But I didn't feel empathy for these people. I just felt this conflict of what what are we what we're trying to say and how we're positioning the FT. I felt, as, as Adrian was saying, we were we were laughing at those people a bit, and I I don't think that's what they're really trying to do. It just felt all it just felt a bit conflicted and a bit mixed for me. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap the show up. Mary, can you tell us what you think brands should be taking away from the FT ads and the discussion we've had today? I think that you know there's a question here about how important it is now for media brands in particular and content brands that are positioning themselves to, to inspire and to connect at an emotional level. And for me, that ad didn't succeed in that. And I think that was a missed opportunity for the FT because it does need to be able to do those things if it wants my subscription. It's possible to be contextual and relevant and create a huge engaging edit without huge budgets. Don't get lost in the creative. I think to a certain extent, they got excited by the edit and forgot the, the messaging a little bit. Um, so that would probably be the two things that I'd take away. Yeah, I think I'd be really clear on the strategy behind it and whether the execution articulates that, which I suppose is similar to your point, Adrian, about don't get lost in the creative. It's like, I think if you stand back and like, do these points really link up and is this the most succinct way of communicating it? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I think that you can do something very, very effective and very standout, with very simple technique. Far too often, most ads are just full of complication and too much messaging, and just too much noise. Actually, you can do something very simple for not a lot of money that cuts through. So that's a win for me. Virginia, Adrian, Mary, Nort, thank you so much. See you next week. Um, 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 I looked at it. I, I enjoyed it. Um, uh, um, uh, um, 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 uh, um, um, uh, 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 um, 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 uh, um, uh, 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 uh,